How do you bring something like this indoors to create something like this? hours went into the planning, preparation, and creation of the dioramas and displays of the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. With an extensive team including conservators, volunteers, scientists, exhibit staff, taxidermists, artists, and many others, the background artist's role was to create a backdrop that tied the whole display together and made the visitor feel like they were a part of it and standing in the outdoors. Most of the dioramas are recreated from actual locations. Dwayne Hardy, the background artist for the much-loved rainforest, climbed 30 meters up into the tree canopy in the forest of Costa Rica and spent three days and nights there sketching and making notes of the scene before him so he could bring it back and recreate it in the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. The artists would include their own style and culture into the paintings. Artist German Mackenzie gave the head curator at the time quite the shock. German was hired to paint the boreal winter scene, but when the head curator came around the corner during the initial painting process, the curator was horrified to find a wall of bright pinks, orange, and yellow. This was supposed to be a winter scene. He was quite upset, but German reassured him everything would be fine, and reluctantly, he let German continue. What resulted was an absolutely stunning boreal winter scene. The initial bright colors allowed for the later blue, gray, and whites of the snow to really pop. Sean Hay, the artist of the Aspen Winter, painted trees that represented family members. Our visitors often ask us, who did the beautiful paintings? So we wanted to highlight some of them here for you. This is certainly not all of the paintings, or all of the artists that created the backgrounds in the museum. And stay tuned for the First Nations Gallery. That should be posted in June. And who knows, maybe there'll even be a new background painting unveiled in the near future. Please keep following the Royal Saskatchewan Museum on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.